good morning everyone from this episode on we are moving into much more complex area of concern that is family related counseling so here we are with a kind of a preparatory session today how to seek help when there are family problems may be wondering what is this preparation we all know when there is a problem in the family related to the children or re related to an adolescent or we have issues in understanding each other as a married couple we know that uh, you know if uh, a professional help can help uh, us to understand uh, uh, and deal with these situations better so that's how one uh, needs to kind of look at it but here it is definitely that but it is also more than that the preparation that one need to come with because it is a complex area that uh, um, we are looking at here it is uh, not dealing with one individual it is dealing with a process a system of individuals so it needs a different kind of approach when we are looking at preparation for the family therapy or pre preparation for the counseling sessions so here mainly the purpose of the videos that i am taking right from uh, the beginning uh, when we started 6 months back uh, with the psycho education series and later moving on to the marital and family counseling series the main purpose here is bringing in the awareness awareness is the first step towards help seeking so everyone is not comfortable seeking help especially when there are problems in their personal area and family related issues so to bring in this kind of awareness one need to understand what happens in their own family and how we can look at from a different perspective when uh, we need to kind of think about approaching professional help so the main purpose is as i kind of um, uh, made it i reinstate that it is mainly the awareness so that you can understand when to approach and uh, uh, when uh, it is beneficial when it is uh, much more useful and what are the conditions where family therapy may not be useful we we'll look into these kind of situations not in today's session today's session is mainly to bring in some amount of preparedness in the coming 6 to 7 weeks we are going to focus on different areas related to family functioning different areas related to what are the different kinds of problems that might arise and how one treats a troubled family and what are the different communication issues that happen how a personality of a child is molded and what kind of family situation Uh, what kind of personalities uh, the child can mold into what are the resistant factors so we we are look, going to look into much more complex kind of uh, family related issues which can bring in a better awareness when you are approaching for family therapy even otherwise when you want to deal in your own setup it is it gives you a better understanding of where you stand within your own family system so with this uh, introduction uh, we will look into the kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, what are the functions of the family uh, like when i say functions of the family uh, everybody knows you know the basic functions of any family is uh, to take care of the you know needs of the family members uh, you know uh, child rearing kind of thing providing them a comfortable kind of uh, living situations or living environment uh, these kind of stuff but i'm not 
exclusively speaking about those alone. So those are the functions that are well understood. But here we are mainly looking from the emotional functions that a family is expected to play. So uh, I'll bring in a hypothetical example, uh, which can uh, explain uh, uh, the, the meaning of this emotional aspect in much more simplistic way, as I thought it uh, to be. I see many parents uh, coming uh, with, a, with a problem saying that uh, in a very distressed state, I don't deny that in a very distressed and in a, in a very uh, painful state, they say that, uh, you know, I have taken care of, uh, we have taken care of our daughter, uh, we have given her everything uh, that is required and then uh, suddenly one day, you know, uh, she breaks this news or we found out that, you know, she is uh, uh, kind of seeing some other boy whom we don't approve of. You know, she's she's brought up in a very, uh, you know, luxurious kind of uh, environment and we have provided her everything even before she asked. But this particular person, she has chosen uh, uh, we know that uh, he's not suitable for her, but she's so adamant that she only want to marry her. What do I, what do we do and how do we handle the situation? By the time parents come with this kind of situation, they would have already damaged the youngster by either trying to, you know, restrict her from attending college or uh, uh, making her stop the job or taking away their whatever the communication systems and then uh, in more worse uh, scenarios where they even assault uh, an youngster of 20 plus years. So here as parents it is important that you have to understand or one has to understand Yes, you would have given all the material comforts that are uh, needed. You would have worked very hard and then you would have really, you know, uh, made it for your family to have all the necessary requirements. If the child is looking for a situation where, uh, you know, if the child is looking for a situation where uh, you are not approving of, it is also important for the parents to introspect just providing the material com comforts alone is going to kind of meet the needs of a young child or it is also required that the availability or the emotional needs are not being met. What if your daughter or your child is looking for a kind of uh, 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 situation where uh, you fail to meet her emotional needs? So there is a need to look into situations like this. And then, uh, like I said, each family has uh, its own uh, way of looking at it from their own cultural perspectives. I respect that each culture has its own way of looking at uh, the value system. But here, looking from a much more scientific perspective, a family goes through different stages uh, the kind of situations uh, in a family that are required when there are just married couple, when there are childless couple, and when there is a young child, a school going child, a teenager. So the different situations that a family is in at different stages, uh, there is a kind of need to reset up or the kind of material as well as the emotional needs change. So. As a, as a family member, whether as a breadwinner or uh, uh, I can't say that it is only the head of the family or the breadwinner. Since these days, both the couples are into earning most of the middle class, upper middle class, where uh, both the parents are into uh, kind of their own careers. So it is important that uh, one need to understand that uh, at different levels, the, the family requires a different kind of uh, needs that are coming into picture. Let us say that you have an adolescent child. 
and then uh, while the adolescent is trying to look for more independence and a struggle towards dependency and wanting to have more autonomy while you are kind of not letting uh, uh, them to get that kind of uh, independence that they are struggling to get and you are trying to kind of put your authority into place or trying to discipline them still considering them as a child uh, can bring in a lot of conflicts which we have uh, discussed in our previous videos on um, the adolescent psychology psychological changes and uh, the different kind of disciplinary problems that can come up and uh, can lead into conduct issues so who has not seen the previous videos can look into that so here the the approach or the availability if it is a male uh, adolescent the approach uh, the availability of the father figure is very important uh, from a more friendly and flexible perspective and if it is a female child uh, the mother's role is very important so your emotional availability for the children at different stages based on their emotional needs plays a very important role in shaping their personality so this is something that uh, uh, that i want to kind of uh, throw light on and uh, the other aspect that i want to kind of uh, bring in is just coming in a crisis situation whenever there is a kind of um, uh, uh, uncontrollable problem just attending to the crisis situation alone will not solve the uh, problem in the families so here there are communication issues there are control issues uh, there are power games that uh, you know happens in a family system and uh, each family is different so there are uh, nuclear families there are joint families uh, there are families uh, um, uh, with uh, adopted children, there are families with young children, uh, there are families uh, where uh, they are reconstituted with the second marriage or uh, children coming from previous marriages. So the kind of family unit has uh, changed its uh, kind of uh, structure over a period of uh, the past two decades. So here, looking into just the crisis alone is not going to solve the problem because there are underlying patterns that uh, that uh, each family develops uh, in order to kind of have their own way of functioning and if there are critical uh, crisis kind of situations coming up and just treating the crisis and uh, bringing in some amount of relief uh, the pattern always uh, is uh, always uh, remaining like an undercurrent and then it can bring rise to another crisis situation. So it's important that you approach and then uh, with a little more open mind and be flexible in order to see what these maladaptive kind of patterns that are bringing in uh, more and more problems in spite of effective solving. So these this is the main aim of this uh, family kind of preparatory sessions that i want to bring in here and a final word on the kind of uh, therapies that you approach so family therapy sessions or family sessions are highly emotionally charged sessions just uh, being a religious person or just coming out as a phd from a university setting with no practical experience in dealing with these uh, highly uh, sensitive kind of emotional situations uh, is, is, is something that can do uh, more damage than helping them. So it is important for you to approach a kind of expert who is, uh, who is able to kind of uh, bring in that kind of uh, understanding with different age groups in your family and then able to uh, bring in a kind of, uh, you know, balance in helping you to understand the family situation as well as helping you in the long term. So choosing a kind of uh, uh, the, the family therapy 
uh, approach or the person whom you are looking for family therapy always need to be an expert in this particular area like how one uh, um, takes time for one's career and uh, one's uh, uh, education it's also important that one need to take time for a healthy family a healthy family just does not come uh, by just having a decent uh, job or earning a decent living a family relation is not uh, going to happen just like that so there are couples who come come with a kind of uh, feeling that uh, you know that uh, this is a love marriage and uh, they know each other over a decade and uh, and uh, at this point they feel that what happened to all that understanding and love that they had but here again uh, looking at it from a more uh, you know understanding perspective loving someone is more to do with uh, you know uh, you are kind of uh, looking for your own emotional needs to be met by the other partner and then you are looking at the other partner uh from more a person who meet the emotional needs uh so here again um, irrespective of uh, the kind of marriage that you are in working for the relationship or working uh, for the quality of the marital life as well as qual quality of the family life is equally important and uh, the family therapy or the counseling itself is a scientific area and it it just uh, uh, does not uh, you know happen uh, just by one session or two sessions so it takes time even for the family therapist to understand the underlying uh, mechanisms and underlying patterns and sitting with the family and uh, becoming part of their family able to understand the uh, emotional needs of the members is again a kind of um, expertise uh, that one need to be uh, trained in in uh, kind of dealing with these families so this is what i want to bring in as a introductory session for the preparation for the families to approach help and then help seeking is something that will help your family to kind of protect become aware and then uh, save it from further damage thank you all happy weekend